Hi there, today I thought I'd give you a special treat and take you off to the dog markets um, which will be interesting, I haven't been in the dog markets for a long time uh, so let me just select a few races, what's the time? 5 past 7, so we'll go down to this one here select a few and just add those to my markets and I'll also, I'll also add them to the ad market watch list because I'll need that later okay um, the reason for going to the Greyhound markets uh, today is to simply because there's loads of races on. Um, however, generally speaking, um, I wouldn't do what I'm doing or about to do uh, because the main purpose of t this video is to show you how to create an automated strategy or an aut automation bot with a view to testing if that idea is actually um, viable. Um, whenever you've created a strategy you really need to test it over a series of, of events because um, it may be that the idea that you've had that you're able to create a bot for um, isn't going to be profitable in the long run and by automating it it allows you to set that up in Fairbot set it going over a number of races or events and you can go off and do something else rather than sitting in front of your computer all the time so we are going to need the um, strategy editor oh I need to open our market first before I can get to that okay I've actually set one up already but let me just get rid of that just now and we'll do it again so you see me setting it up okay what I'm going to do um, the idea and this is where it all sparks and where you need to think about whether it can be automated or not uh, given that the Greyhounds don't go in running unless they're televised. So this isn't going to be a trade. We're going to place a Dutch just before the off, 10 seconds or so before the off, and let that go in. And we're going to assign that strategy, that uh, bot, to a number of different races uh, throughout the evening and let those races run through and we'll see what the results are at the end. Now, this is going to be a bet, uh, but as ever, whenever testing something in, in the... Uh, strategy editor make sure your simulation mode is on so that you're not firing real bets into the market when you're testing um, want to flag, flag up however is that this is something that's just popping into my head just now uh, I haven't looked at this strategy in any other way so what we're going to do is place a Dutch and uh, we're going to place that Dutch on the um, third fourth and fifth favorites of each dog race uh, but we're not going to get involved in any race where there is a, an odds-on favourite. Um, so that's the the rules of the strategy. So we need to set that one up. So let me just uh, create a new one. We'll rename that. Uh, and as you've seen before, I like to prefix my strategy names with the event type it is. So that will be the dogs. And we'll place a Dutch on uh, what was it three to five okay and then what we need to do is add the rule place Dutch and then we want this to uh, start just before the event start time so we'll set that to um, 10 seconds before the event start select action and we want to place a Dutch uh, we'll place a fixed amount oh, let's say just 20 pounds we don't want it to do on bet fair row however we want to do it on the back odds so that we can establish which one's the favorite and so on so back odds ascending so at 10 seconds before the off the bot will look at the current odds for each runner essentially sort them in ascending order uh, and it will place if we select indexes if I put in 3-5 it will place a Dutch on those runners that make up the third fourth and fifth favorites at that split second 10 seconds before the off okay we also need to set a condition however because I do not want this to be applied if a short price favorite is involved in the race so we need selection fixed odds uh, choose um, where are we 
barcodes so that's organized by barcodes again if we set that to one that will flag up the dog that is the favorite at this particular point in time i.e 10 seconds before the off and we want those odds to be greater than or equal to two in other words it will only place this dutch if the favorite is not odds on okay and obviously we can put that higher if you wish but the, the higher it goes the less likely the dutch will be placed um in the in the market and that's it we don't need any other rule as such uh, it doesn't go in running so we don't need to monitor the in running market or anything like that and that's all we need to do so we'll save that we can get rid of the strategy editor um, and you can assign it by clicking on that option there so that's now assigned to this race which goes off in seven minutes however the reason for doing this is to allow you to assign it to lots of races at, at, at the same time so we could select each of these individually and choose it from here choose it from there and carry on however since I've already added all these races into the watch list I can actually select them all and from here choose this drop down arrow and choose my strategy from there so now we've got all of these races going on till whenever that is quarter to nine uh, where these duchies will be placed okay so we'll monitor the first two or three and then what I'll do is we'll just I'll just skip ahead all the way to the last race or so and we'll have a look at the results okay so we've got six minutes or so so yeah we'll just pause the video for now and we'll come back just before the off to make sure that this uh, Dutch gets placed uh, as we expect it to be okay the first race is uh, starting shortly uh, let me just maximize this to its own separate window that will give us a little bit more real estate to see and if I open up the watch list so we can see everything at the same time we'll just move that down there okay so these are all the selections we've got all the races have this same strategy assigned to them and so what we should see any second now is this getting fired there you go and there you see the uh, the resulting bets going in if we check back to there that's those popped in okay and that's it that's our job done for this particular race um, it will now get suspended uh, very shortly and we can move on to the next one uh, so we'll see in here so you see it gets suspended uh, it will eventually become closed and we'll get a PL figure coming in here uh, once the results are known um, so that's that race done that's all we can do here so we can nip on to the next one Uh, what I'll need to do actually is shut that down to go to that one actually I think we'll just stay here otherwise I'm gonna to have to keep on chopping and changing so what we can do is lift that up a little bit now this next race is interesting because there's only five runners and um, what will happen is because we are because we are dutching the third fourth and fifth there won't be a problem with the Dutch but imagine that we were dutching with the fourth fifth and sixth um, in odds what would happen is the dutching process as part of the automation process that Dutch placement would fail because there isn't a sixth runner but the way we've set up this Dutch here um, there shouldn't be a problem okay it's uh, still four minutes or so to go uh, so what I'll do is we'll just skip ahead uh, when that the race comes up okay the second of our races is about to start um, but you'll see the first one was a failure uh, you'll see that it was one of the other runners that uh, won unfortunately but this is the whole purpose of doing it this way you can over a series of races you can very quickly establish if the idea that you've had that you're testing is going to be a winner or not so one race doesn't make a strategy so there's lots of races still to go so let's just switch back to this one we'll watch the Dutch coming in successfully 
and then we'll uh, skip ahead to the uh, 726 at Sunderland. Okay, so there's a Dutch in because there's only five runners, so we're effectively dutching the the three outsiders. Uh, we're getting a reasonable return if one of those runners comes in. So again, I'll just skip ahead and wait for the result to come in. Okay, you can see we're about to uh, start the Sunderland uh, 726 race, and there's our bets going in. A wee bit. Okay, all well and good. And so we carry on, we'll zip ahead, and then we'll have a look at the Perry Bar 734. In the meantime, however, you'll see that uh, we've had two winning races, um, so we're actually in profit at the moment. Uh, very early days with only three races going in. Uh, so we'll switch to the next race. So this is a, another open race. Um, again, the odds are fine. So this uh, this should uh, take a, a Dutch quite happily. Um, once this race has gone in, I'm not going to keep on skipping ahead to each race in sequence. What I'll do is I'll just let this thing carry on. Uh, I'll pause the video, let this thing carry on, and I'll come back in 10, 15 minutes rather than uh, running up a, a very long video. Um, but let's see how this one going in, make sure it goes in okay. The return for this one should be reasonably good as well, because the odds are relatively high. It looks like a very competitive race, which you would expect for a, an open race. Okay, there we go. And the return is not as high as I thought it would be. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video and I'll come back perhaps around about this race down here just to see how we're getting on uh, and review progress at that point. Yeah, speak to you later. Okay, I've skipped on and we are more than halfway through and it's going remarkably well, better than I expected it to in actual fact. So we've had, what, uh, five winning Dutchies, uh, currently sitting at £72 profit, uh, which is uh, pretty good. You'll notice this one here has been is closed, but there's no profit or loss there. So that is probably because there's been a short price favourite in there somewhere. Yep, that one there. Um, so its odds must have been below 2 when the Dutch was placed or attempted to be placed. So it, it didn't go in. Um, so that particular condition that we set up is, is working fine. Um, so we've not got that many more to go. Um, one thing while I'm looking at the market watch list I'll flag up to you. Obviously we've only got uh, Greyhound races in here at the moment. But the market watch list you can put in any n number of different types of events. Um, and Fairbot will just look at each of them, putting in bets uh, and so on, depending on uh, what's required in those particular markets. The other thing to note is that here we're testing uh, purely greyhounds, um, 20 markets listed, and there's nothing to stop you going off and trading a football match at the moment whilst this is busy in the background doing its thing. However, Keep in mind that if you were trading that football market live, you'd need to switch off simulation mode. And if you do that, any subsequent event within this market watch list that you're monitoring and testing will place live bets. It will no longer be in simulation mode. In other words, simulation mode is a global setting that applies to everything you do within Fairbot. So just be aware of that if you are uh, doing what we're doing here tonight uh, and testing a, a, a strategy within uh, a particular type of market. Okay, um, again, I'll just uh, go and put the kettle on and we'll skip back uh, near the end of the list, see how we're getting on. Cheers. Well, that's heading south fairly quickly after my last visit, um, which is actually um, a good point I, I should raise here. Um, if I pull up the strategy editor again, and we go in and edit this, or let you see via the editor, uh, another condition. There's an option in here where you can specify 
how much money you've lost. Um, this will only work in real mode, it doesn't work in simulation mode. And what it does is it monitors how much money you've lost uh, or made um, over a period of time. And you can limit it to specific markets. So for example, let's imagine that I, I didn't want to place any more bets if um, my profit loss fell below 100. Okay? So in other words, as long as my profit for the loss was greater than minus 100 for the day, it would carry on placing bets. As soon as it fell below 100, it wouldn't put any more, irrespective of how many markets I had still to go. Uh, and you can specify either today or a specific time period. So for example, in our case, I've only been doing it for the last two hours, so I might choose that. Uh, specify the sport. Um, Greyhound Racing and would, uh, would just be the wind market. So this would allow me to uh, limit any further bets going in for this strategy, but still allow me to carry on trading in another sport, for example. Um, so again, that only works within um, live mode. Uh, nothing will happen in simulation mode at all. So that, that may be something you want to consider when you do get around to actually testing in live mode. Uh, let me just cancel that and we'll get back to where we are. Okay, we've got a winner which has pulled something back. So we've only got two races to go. Uh, again, I'll zip forward once uh, those two races are over and we'll see what the final tally is. Okay, that's us done and dusted. Uh, the last race obviously had a short price favourite. Uh, so we've had two of those that haven't had a Dutch placed um, with a very poor run in the second half uh, for a loss of 50 quid. That actually, <laughs> this test did better than I expected, to be perfectly honest. However, that's only 20 events. So if you're doing a test like this, um, any strategy, you would need to test it over a, a large number of events to make sure it was if it was working okay. So imagine this is the, the last of 200 races we've tested this on. Uh, and we see that we, we are, are making a loss. You can then see or decide whether the the uh, strategy has still has valid validity, but you need to change some of the parameters or not, and then do that, and then go through the whole process again. Uh, hopefully, however, that lets you see the process that you need to go through to uh, test out a strategy uh, by making use of the uh, watch market list uh, and letting Fairbot just do its thing while you go off and do something else. Okay, I hope that helps. Cheers.